Hi guys. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hello, people. Hi, Carla. I read your message. Muchas gracias por acompañarnos. Thank you for being here. Hi guys, good evening. How you doing? Teacher, uh, today only only listen. I working. Oh, you're working. Yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay Manuel, okay. be careful. That's all right. Oh, okay. So what he's working. No, that's totally fine. I understand. No, no worries. No worries. Okay. Okay. I hope you finish early. So hi guys. How you doing? Is everything okay? Are you doing just fine? You doing good? Lupita, great to see you. Yvette, good evening. Great to see you as well. I think I saw Isaias. Good evening, Camilo. Boys, great to see you. Mr. Cruz, how are you? It's really nice to have you as well. Guys, how you doing? ¿Cómo les está yendo? Is your Tuesday going fine? Are you doing just okay? Did you have a good day? So, so, maybe, kind of. So guys, it's really nice to have you and I hope you're having a wonderful day. Uh, so happy Tuesday, everyone. Edwin, me alegra verlo por acá también. I'm very happy to see you uh, around here as well. And guys, uh, I want to get started like thanking you for the email you sent yesterday. I was like checking the rest of them that you sent. No les correspondí, I didn't reply back because quería darles como acá el feedback, right? But actually, that was quite fine, pero super bien. Eh, la mayoría de intros que vi, that were, they were really nice. Um, and el outro, a mí lo utilizamos correctamente, como el best regards, regards, right? Eh, solo una cosita, guys, eh, revisemos siempre pasados, right? Si vamos a utilizar pasados, eh, asegurémonos que el verbo esté en pasado. That's the only thing. Eh, but then, that's very nice. Me gustó mucho el hecho que uh, los correos fueran Los que logré leer y los que ustedes enviaron, eh, súper precisos, cortos, precisos, concisos. That is the most important characteristic of, of emails. Gracias por la cámara. Hi, Lupita. How you doing? Thank you for that. I hope you're having a good day. ¿Qué tal, Miss? How you doing? Bien. Okay. That sounded like a... <laughs> Estoy cansada. Oh, I understand. I, I definitely understand. Pero ya casi mis eh, un par de días en el módulo termina. De hecho, nos faltan seis sesiones. We are missing only six, so it's just a little bit. So thank you so much for, you know, for joining a pesar de las actividades that I'm sure you have during the, the week, right? Um, so guys, today vamos a revisar un poquito de Elke. Eh, vamos a revisar un poquito de pronunciation and uh, si no es posible, if it is possible, vamos a revisar listening to, right? So we're going to go over eh, a little bit of listening eh, script or listening description too. Um, so, el día de ayer, guys, veíamos la parte de should para dar recomendaciones, right? Cómo utilizamos should. También vimos un poquito... Eh, the email etiquette, like lo más importante, like the super most important tips for email etiquette. And today vamos a hablar un poquito de etiquette en general, eh, como cuál es el proceso de una llamada, por ejemplo, cuáles son algunas expresiones que utilizamos in English para tomar una llamada en inglés, right? And uh, eh, cómo le puedo pedir, por ejemplo, a alguien que me dé tiempo, like que se mantenga en línea. Word, eh, como le digo, mire, le voy a llamar, right? 
or something like that. So vamos a revisar un par de cositas. We're gonna go over just a couple of things related to that. And um, uh, to get started, guys, I wanna go over some pictures here. Les tengo un par de pictures. Hemos estado practicando like dar recomendaciones, right? Giving recommendations. And here I have some pictures, guys, and I need your recommendations, of course, right? So I would like to have your um, advice on these pictures. Uh, first, antes de las recomendaciones, look at the pictures and tell me, guys, qué está pasando? What is going on? ¿Cuál es la situación here? What do you think? Like this picture, for example, the picture que tenemos arriba, the picture that is on top. Uh, what is the problem? What is wrong with this person? Alguna idea? Do you have any idea? Tiene mal aliento. Okay, okay. Yeah, so yeah, we can use that one. So in English, we call it a bad breath, right? Okay, so tiene problemas, probably, um, well, ya me van a dar recomendaciones, you're gonna give us some recommendations, because we already know that mal aliento no necesariamente es mala higiene, right? Si no pueden ser like eh, problemas estomacales, a lot of different things. So yes, that's bad breath. Uh, what about the dog? Guys, ¿qué creen que, what is going on with the dog? ¿Cuál es el problema con el perrito? What do you think? Yes, Edwin, what is Hungry. going on? Hungry. Okay, okay, yes. Yeah. So the dog eh, está como bien agresivo, right? It's very aggressive, kind of angry. Mm -hmm. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? ¿Cuáles son los problemas más comunes? What are the most common things que pueden suceder con los perros? What do you think? Lo pueden decir en español. It's totally fine. That's okay. La idea es, you know, just uh, come up with some ideas. So, uh, what do you think? Probably uh, the dog is aggressive, right? So, está muy agresivo, is angry. Yeah, could be. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? Ve a otro perro. Ah, okay. Maybe there is another uh, dog o un gato, right? Or maybe a cat. So oh, there cat. might be a cat okay. too. Uh -huh. Ah, okay. Carla, that is a really good one. So Carla says rabia. So maybe the dog has rabies. Yes, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna write it down. Yes, yes. No sé si todavía existe o si hay casos en El Salvador. Carla, maybe nos puede, si está, eh, si tiene un tiempito, you can tell us more about it. Eh, but yes, so we have rabies, okay? Okay, okay. ¿Qué más, guys? What about this woman? What is happening with this woman? ¿Qué le pudo haber pasado, guys? What do you think is wrong with her? Um, this one, the woman right here. Oh, maybe fall down to the stairs. Okay, so maybe she fall. Okay, so yeah, that can be. Uh, so has it happened to you? Les ha pasado, guys? Se han yeah. caído? Have you fallen down the stairs? Nadie se caído, nobody. Hi Griselda, good evening, great to see you. Thank you, Miss, for joining. Okay, so let me see. Oh, okay, okay, thank you. All right, so yeah, maybe she fell down the stairs. 
Probablemente tiene un dolor de espalda, right? That can happen. How do you say dolor de espalda? Any idea? Do you know any way to say dolor de espalda, guys? Hay muchas formas de decirlo. There are a lot of ways to say it. None. So we can use the word a uh, back, right? The so back is la, la espalda, and then we can use the word pain. Es una de las muchas formas that we have to say, like dolor de espalda. So a back, a back pain, um, a back cake, right? A pain in the back, or the, uh, well, there are a lot. Okay, thank you, Cristelda. There you go. Okay, exactly. What about this woman, guys? Guys, um, I think I saw a bit of how you think, how you going to the beach recently? I ido a la playa recientemente. Have you been there? Um, have you ever gotten like this? ¿Alguna vez la piel se les ha puesto muy, muy roja? Have you ever gotten your skin super red? Eve? Hi, sí, una vez me dio insolación. Oh, that was bad. Uh -huh. So no the solo time. la piel, it was not only uh -huh. your skin. Uh -huh. Oh, okay, okay. So you're gonna tell us about it. But normally eh, utilizamos la expresión sunburn, right? So cuando nuestra piel está roja, we can say <clears throat> uh, we are, or we got sunburned. So es con quemaduras de sol, right? Maybe she didn't use sunscreen. Mm, okay, but actually, el, el sol está muy fuerte. It's like the sun uh, rays uh, or sun beams are super, super strong now, but that may happen. So probably she didn't. But then nos van a recomendar, guys, a couple of things we can do. En la última, what do you think is going on in this picture? ¿Qué está pasando, guys? What is going on? La última, the last one. What do you think is going on there? Money was lost. Okay, exactly. So, ¿alguna vez han perdido dinero? Have you ever lost so many people? How, yes, much, how much did you lose, Lupita? 20. $20. Ah, okay. $20. Did you feel bad? Y también encontré $20. Oh, entonces a las perdios. A las recupero, yo recuerdo. $5. Oh, additionally. Yeah. Ah, okay, okay. I think that it is the best feeling ever, right? Encontrarse dinero is amazing. Especialmente si es de su propio dinero, like when you find money in the pockets or cuando buscan libros and the, there are some dollars in the books, right? So it's super amazing. Guys, ¿a dónde han encontrado dinero? Where have you found some money? En el mercado. Ah, okay, in the market. Y nadie lo había visto, like nobody was there. Oh, okay. You were the lucky one. Okay, in the market. Guys, I don't think encontrado dinero. Where have you found some dollars? I found 10 colones, but it was colones, you know, like, ooh, oh my God, a long time ago. Uh, but in the street. So they were just sitting there. Edwin? The work, pero se dice the street. In the street. Mm -hmm. No sí. en el trabajo, sino en la calle, in the street. Sí. Ah, ok. How much? Por eso, este, mi duda es, the walk no sería, sino que sería the street. Oh, ok. But how much? ¿Cuánto? How much did you find? Ah, 20. Ah, 20 dollars. Yes. Ah, ok. okay. Yeah, because we have colones, you know. Pero los que ya somos... 
mayores de los 30, so if you may remember. Um, so we grew up with colonias, right? No, so, pero, no, pero yo igual, yo he pasado los 30 ya también. Ah, ok, so just, yeah, for some reason, los colonias eran más fáciles de encontrar. Now, I, I haven't found dollars en los últimos 20 años, guys. No he encontrado nada. I have not found anything. I'm not that lucky. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look at this picture, guys, and give us some recommendations. Number one, uh, imagine that I am like this picture. I have a bad smell. I have bad breath, right? So what is your recommendation, guys? First, repitan conmigo. So repeat with me so we get familiar. This is called bad breath. Guys, repeat with me. Bad breath. Bad breath. Breath. Y hacemos el sonidito, right? So if I have bad breath, what is your recommendation, guys? ¿Qué debo de hacer? What should I do? What is your best recommendation here? Para el mal aliento, for bad breath. You show a... Mm, it's men's. Okay, I should eat some men's. Okay, mm -hmm. Yvette, say it, say it, go. Mouthwash, uh, como Juan Bucal. Ah, um, okay, mouthwash. Okay, I should use a mouthwash, all right. Teacher, could you write it, please? I'm sorry? Could you write the, 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 I, the word? Oh, sure. It's right here. Let me just uh, point it out. That way? Bad breath? No, no. That the, that the, uh, she said. Oh, mouthwash. All right. Yeah. Sure. It's like, wash. All right. So mouthwash. I should use like a mouthwash. I should get some mints. Okay. What else, guys? Do you have another recommendation for bad breath? Should I eat garlic or she onion? Should, she should go to the doctor. Okay, maybe I should go to a doctor. Maybe I have a problem in my with my gastritis, right? That could work. Teacher, how do you say muela? Um, they are teeth. There is no okay. word specific for that, so they are teeth. Mm -hmm. Oh, es lo mismo decir muela que dientes. Mm -hmm. Yes, solo que los dientes yeah. tienen nombres específicos. Uh, ah, le llamamos dientes. Ajá, uh -huh, right. okay, But for example, bien, no <laughs> es que es, es a little complicated porque teeth son todos. But, for example, si son los dientes de acá, son los incisivos, se les llama por el nombre, right? Like um, incisive or molars. Ajá. Uh -huh. We can call them molars, molars and premolars. Mm -hmm. That's fine. So, mm -hmm. but what, what is wrong? What can be wrong with the teeth or with the molars? Tiene una muela podrida. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that could be. That could be. So maybe Infección. you have. Mm -hmm. Yes? Infection, podría ser. Ah, an infection. Very good. Maybe there is an infection. Maybe there are cavities or cavities. Son las, eh, las caries, right? Maybe there are some cavities, mm -hmm, an infection. What else, guys? So I should go to the dentist or to a doctor for my stomach. Tienen más? Do you have more? You know, um, um, have you ever seen Chingu Amiga? Have you ever seen the Korean girl? Yeah. Okay, I love her videos. And me llamó la atención algo, because she said, Koreans love garlic. Do you like garlic? Do you like garlic? Yes, I like it. And okay, do you eat garlic? But I mean, yes. estoy hablando como del pedacito, right? Do you eat garlic? Del pedacito de ajo. 
Pan con ajo, o pupusa con ajo. Okay, pero sobre el ajo, just garlic? No, no like it. You don't like it, okay. So, she said that it's common for them que se coman el ajo, you know? And, y mencionó algo de eso, que hablamos de bad breath, because she said, ah, people or Latin Americans tienen la idea que los, los coreanos olemos ajo. So, I was like, ah, okay. So, maybe she should stop eating garlic, right? To avoid the bad breath or the bad smell. Uh, so, do you have any other recommendation here, guys, for that? Teacher, uh, yes. people say that if you eat um, apple, it will be uh, better for your bad breath. Oh, very nice. Okay, I didn't know. So, an apple. So, an apple can help with your bad breath. Okay. Well, sabía también que el café, uh, and I don't know, maybe you guys can tell us um, that coffee, um, you shouldn't, you should stop drinking coffee, porque el café ayuda como a generar más olor, right? So it helps with bad breath, but I don't know. You guys, si saben algo, cuéntenos. Tell us more info about that, because I think it's very important. Telas, Lupita. Go, sin pena, sin miedo. No, es que el café produce, pero mal olor, ¿no? No es bueno. ¿Verdad que sí? That's what mm -hmm. I heard. Que hace como el aliento, like our smell, mm -hmm. que se vuelva más smelly. Mm -hmm. Es un poco más Exacto. fuerte, right? Mm -hmm. Ok, so that's a very interesting thing. Ah, oh, creo que dejaré de tomar café. I should have stopped drinking coffee then okay okay guys let's go with next let's go with this dog imagine you are in the street y de repente ven al perro guys what should we do if we see this dog give us recommendations give us idea ¿Qué deberíamos hacer? imagine that you are in front of the dog the dog is super aggressive uh it is not your dog so what should we do? Se dice move away. Move away. Okay. Okay. That's a really good recommendation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Should you run? No, porque you think si it's a good idea. Si lo persigue. Lo sigue. Okay, so you shouldn't run. Okay, so you should move ¿Cómo away. Puede decir calmarse? Ah, hi guys, ayúdennos. ¿Cómo digo calmarse? Calm down. Um, okay, you should calm. You should calm down, yes. Calm down. Pero sin correr, right? You should not run. Okay. ¿Qué más, guys? What else? I take a stick. Oh, why? <laughs> ¿Para qué? What for? Uh, those, uh, hay perros que los tienen a uno. Okay, so you should have a stick ready. Debe tener como un palito, right? Like a stick ready. Oh, okay. Comience okay. a orar en ese momento, entonces. Edwin? Que comience a orar en ese momento, entonces. Okay, so you should start <laughs> praying. Okay, um, aunque I don't know, guys, because... Um, con las leyes ahora del maltrato animal, I don't know if it's a good or, or, or a bad idea. Ajá. Mejor Carlos con tres huesitos says, y le tira uno. Ah, ok, you should like <laughs> throw Comunita, food. ¿no? Ajá, oh, ok, uh -huh. that's a good one. Some cookies, some, ok, something to eat. Eh, Carla says caries, but Carla, eh, what do you mean by that? Como que lo acarice, like you should touch it. No. Or you shooting or or what is your recommendation? Maybe she can tell us more. Uh, there was a program, right? On the TV, El Domador de Animales. I don't know if you remember that. So. Tranquilizar al perro. Okay, so you should try to calm or to relax it, como tocarlo y acercarse. Oh, 
Okay. I don't know. Carla, cuéntenos. ¿Lo ha hecho? How you done it? Esto está bien interesante. Like Carla says that you should touch the dog. Guys, a mí ya me han mordido perros. I have been bitten by dogs. So yo no me acerco. I don't get close um, because I am scared. I'm scared of dogs. Yes, so, teacher. Hola. Uh, yes, yo, Carla. Yo, yo sí, teacher, me les he acercado cuando veo algo rabioso, así como a hablarle suave. Con, no sé. Oh my God, does the sí, dog relax? Dependiendo, verdad, el tipo de, okay. de cómo ve al, al perro también. Ok, uh -huh. el perro se relaja, does the dog sí. relax? Sí, eso quería expresar, no sé, cómo acarici acariciar o... Yes, caris, uh -huh. caris okay. or touch. Uh -huh. Wow, wow, Carla, qué... qué... Qué valiente, that's so brave. <ríe> y qué arriesgado también. Really risky. Guys, ¿ustedes se acercarían? Would you get close to a dog? No. Get, get away better. Get a, okay, get away. You should get away. I do the same. I get away. Uh -huh, sir. I'm super scared. A mí se me dan miedo, guys. Okay. But interesting. We have different opinions here. Okay. Let's take a look at the next one. Here we have this woman que se cayó de las escaleras. Guys, what is the best recommendation for her? Debo de moverla? Should I move her? La toco, la reviso? Should I check it? Touch her? Um, llamo una ambulancia? Should I call an ambulance? Call the doctor. Okay, so I should call the doctor. What do you think? ¿Qué debo, qué no debo de hacer? So I should call the doctor. ¿Qué más, guys? Um, ¿Cómo usar crema? Uh, you shouldn't. ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo que, like, creams? ¿En qué sentido, Lupita? Como crema. Después que se cayó, se puede poner crema. Ah, I should use. Le escuché, no se debe. Ok, so I should use creams. Ok. Pero para, como para masajear, maybe. Como crema de esa caliente. Ah, ok, ok. Yeah, sounds all right. Guys, ¿qué más? Give us some ideas. ¿Qué debemos de hacer? What should we do? Um, si alguien se cae en su casa, if someone fails, guys, ustedes querían, what would you do? No, else? nos pueden dar las ideas en Spanish y aquí las armamos, guys. We can make them up here. So, no more. Primero preguntarle si se puede mover. Ah, ok. So, we should ask eh, the person. Shall um, get up? She should or she shouldn't? No, sería como uno. Oh, we should get up. Ajá, como Wait, ayudar, de... levantarse. Le... Ah, ok. So, levantar Show. algo. Eh, podemos usar la palabra pick. So, we should pick her up. Oh. oh, okay. Pick, pick up, right? So we should pick her up. Oh, okay. Deberíamos levantarla. All right. And I think the most important thing, call a doctor, what you said before. Okay. Uh, so, guys, what about this one? Sunburn. Um, what recommendations do you have with sunburn? ¿Qué debemos hacer si se quema? What should we do?
¿Qué se han puesto? Why have you applied cuando se han quemado? When you are like super red. Teacher, it's a question. Uh, yes. Is it helpful to use I? Um, no. I don't think so. No. O, o, el, o, la, o la cremita rosada que todos usan, pero no sé cómo se llama. Oh, which cream? Cremita rosada. La calamina. Ah, la calamina. Is, it, is it pink? Yeah. I mean, yo he comprado blanca, pero hace como Muy 20 rosada. años, guys. Sí. Ok, no, it is pink. All right, so calamina. You know, algo que se ha hecho, and it works, es la sábila. So, uh, I feel like sí, you should put mejor. some aloe vera. Y, and it's really, really good. So, sí, alivia bastante. Guys, eyes, ¿saben si el, el hielo maicena. es bueno? ¿Y ve? También la maicena es buena. Maicena. Se fresca bastante. Search. Mm -hmm. Pero con agua o just the powder. Sí, así como de cecita. Como una crema, la like casola cream. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Oh, oh, good. Okay, good to know. So aloe vera, starch, what else? Calamina, anything else? Tomato, is it a good idea to put tomato? Alguien se puesto tomato, guys? Have you put like some tomato on it? Pero dicen que es malo, malo. Ay, that's what I think, but... Pero la gente, uno se pone todo. Ajá, ajá, ajá. Como cuando se quema, como cuando se quema con algo, cali como, yeah. como, como, como aceite, cosas así. Yes, yo me he puesto pasta de dientes, guys. Ajá, ¿Para bien. qué? I got no idea. ¿Qué se han puesto? Es que refresca. Ya, yeah, no refresca, bro. pero... Pero no quema más. Yeah, it's bad. So, ¿qué se han puesto? Something that... Eh, Sábila o aloe vera. Ajá, uh -huh, aloe. Uh -huh. Yeah, that's burning. That's burning. Ajá, uh -huh, so aloe. Yeah, I know for sure that it works. Algo más? Is there anything else? Mm. Hielo. Ice? And is it good? So Deborah preguntaba si era bueno. To be honest, como I don't en el know. Momento, como en el momento, nada más. Como para aliviar la, la, como, el ardor. Eh, el ardor, ajá, exacto. Ok, so ice. Pero será que le quema más? I don't know, I need to investigate. Yo ya le he hecho, eh, mi refri tiene así como que hiciera... Los cubitos. Escarcha, no. Como ah. que hiciera escarcha. Uh -huh. Entonces pongo ahí un ratito y ya estuvo. Oh, wait. P ¿Pone la espalda adentro? No, no, no. no, no. <risa> Hay una quemadura pequeña de algo. De ah, como no los de pedacitos. Esta. Exactamente. Ajá, exacto. Oh, ok. Ay, no, mis, ya me lo imaginaba con la espalda. <risa> <de la superida. risa> like no. into your Ok, ok. So, probably, no, no, right? No, no. no. Probably can help a little. All right, guys, ¿qué más se han puesto? What else do you know <laughs> that works? Well, calamina le he usado, pero para chicken pox. Honey. ¿Es algo? Yes. Honey. Ah, honey. Ah. But, ¿cómo se la pone? How do you put it? Just like, like this? Over the yes. skin? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Funciona, does it work? Yes. Ok. No se le las... levanta como la bombita. Oh, no deja que pero, se levante. But that is, ¿eso es para quemadura de sol o quemadura como de aceites and cosas calientes? Uh, ambos. Oh, Porque okay. hidrata. Ok. ¿Y cómo hace con las hormigas? <laughs> so, how do you deal with ants and insects? Yo me pongo alcohol, nada más. No, doesn't it hurt? Lo que pasa es que limpia. Nada más superficialmente. Oh, bueno, no. mi mami desde chiquita me ponía alcohol. 
But that hurts. Cuando me picaba algo. That, oh, but, but a bite, I think it's different. Mm -hmm. um, sé que el agua, eh, I mean, eh, la crema ayudada, or there is a liquid, right? It's muy bueno to mm -hmm. disinfect. Pero alcohol en quemaduras, oh, I don't know. No, 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 en quemaduras no. Sino la que en cortaduras. Pica, cuando pica. Ah, in bites. Ok, mm -hmm. no, in bites, I think, yeah. Yeah, right. No, no, what I mean is like, for example, um, Griselda mencionaba que se puede poner miel, you can apply some honey, pero guys, si se ponen honey, yo me he puesto como mascarilla, pero las eh, hormigas are like around me, so, ah. ¿qué hacen con los insectos? <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you do with insects? And ants, and flies, and all those insects, right? Yo la he usado pero un rato. No, me too. Uh -huh. Ajá, nunca lo he dejado mucho, sir. Griselda, necesitamos más consejos like that. Because uh, honey, I know that is really good, but no recordaba que para las que más tú. So, sounds great. Okay, guys. Y el último. Um, if you found money or if you see money in the street, what should you do? Or what should I do? Imagine I find, I don't know, a hundred dollars. What should I do? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And run. I should get it. I should grab it and run. Yes. Be around. <laughs> Be around if, if someone is around. Oh, okay. So I look around. I and take run. it. And <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> Have you ever done it? I just found five dollars in my life. Oh, okay. But did you look around and and run? Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. So look around, take them, and run. Okay, guys. What is your recommendation? Querían con el dinero can, or lo can dejarían? Can I say mm -hmm. um? Show, mm -hmm. uh, show more careful? Should be. You should be oh. more careful. Show oh. But that is, eso es en caso que lo pierda, right? That is in case that usted lo pierda. Pero quiere decir it. más cuidadoso. Okay. Yeah, more careful. Be more careful. Yes. Pero si usted lo encuentra, what if you see $10? Que yo lo encuentro. Ajá, uh -huh. imagine que no, no es usted quien los perdió, it's not you, sino que los, me usted los en... <laughs> okay. Guys, uh, how do you say gastar? You eh, eh. Ay, no me acuerdo. Guys, how do you say gastar dinero? Ayúdanos, help us. A spend. Ok, so we can use a spend, or también podemos usar la palabra waste, spend. right? Spend es como invertirlo o usarlo para algo positivo. En waste es malgastarlo. Yes. <laughs> should you really, should you waste the hundred dollars? Yvette, ¿qué haría? What would you do? Um, do you think it's a good idea to pick up the money? Or what should I do? ¿Qué debo de hacer? What should I do if I see a hundred dollars? Compro comida. <laughs> ah, ok. So, si ¿sí lo recogería. La duda no es si no lo recogería o si sí lo recogería. <risa> ok. Sí, porque lo que está en la calle no es de nada. Oh, <risa> es lo que se encuentra. Ok. So al, should... menos que, al menos que vea yo que alguien se le cayó, se lo regresaría. Yes, okay. teacher, it depends on the situation. If I saw that someone fell down the, the, the money, maybe I'm going to say, hey, uh, the money. The money. Is Yes. Ah, okay. I found the money and nobody's around. Mm -hmm. It's mine. Oh, okay. Exactly. Oh, what? Okay. Very interesting. Boys, what would you do? Or what do you think uh, we should do? So, por ahí creo que estaba Edwin, Mr. Cruz, Isaías, eh, Camilo. Guys, what do you think? Deberíamos recoger el dinero too? Should we pick up the money? ¿Están de acuerdo con las chicas? Do you agree with them? Maybe, maybe not. I think it's interesting, as you said. Si encuentran algo, if you find something, 
and nobody is around, no hay forma de probar que es de alguien, right? It's really hard to, to make that decision. So, ¿qué deberíamos hacer con el dinero? What should we do with the money then? If it says comprar comida, we should buy food. Lupita says waste it. <laughs> Guys, ¿qué deberíamos hacer con el dinero? What should we do with the money? Eh, ay, ¿cómo se dice? Se me olvida. ¿Ahorrar? Ajá, eso, sí. Ay, ya ven. <laughs> Hasta la palabra es, es difícil. Uh, yeah, save, exactly. We should save the money. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we should save it. Para gastarlo otro día. <laughs> Okay, so yeah, to have more money in the future. Okay, okay, that definitely happens. Okay, guys, very nice. Thank you for the recommendations. I think I learned a lot. Y todavía me faltan um, to hear about the honey thing, right? And Carla creo que nos mencionaba por ahí lo de tocar perros. So I think it's very important to know more about that. Um, so guys, um, vamos a revisar un poquito la parte de policies too, because uh, it's important to give recommendations in la parte de uh, formal environments as well. So, vamos a revisar un poquito su material. We're going to check your material here. Vamos a trabajar en la página 35. And this is eh, ya parte de los últimos temas from the unit. And we are going to check this part, provide a written and oral instructions on etiquette at work. Guys, uh, repeat it conmigo, please. Etiquette. 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 Very good. So it says etiquette at work. So, um, antes de revisar un poquito de esto, before like discussing etiquette, we have. Um, todos tenemos etiquette donde trabajamos. Um, the thing is that todos los empleos son diferentes, right? Eh, no sé si su empleo es formal. Is it formal? Es un ambiente bien formal, like business, like office, o es un poco más casual. What kind of business do you work for? Or what kind of company do you work for? Guys, eh, están en un ambiente muy, muy formal. Are you in a formal environment? O es un poco más casual. Is it casual? So, miss. So, so. Okay. And the rest, guys. Is it formal? Is it casual? O es muy informal? Is it very informal? For example, I have to say that English corporativo is entre formal y business, eh, business casual. So business casual is no es informal, pero no es extremadamente formal, right? So, um, and obviously, tenemos etiquette. So etiquette eh, de vestimenta, right? We have etiquette sobre cómo eh, tratar a los demás. We have etiquette. Uh, to sobre cómo responder el teléfono and a lot of different guidelines about etiquette. So take a look at this one. Tenemos read the article on workplace etiquette guidelines. Son como reglamentos, right? Like una guía. And uh, uh, first, vamos a revisar un poquito de vocabulario. We're going to check only vocabulary here. Uh, and vamos a hacer esto rápido. We're going to do this fast. So, really quick, guys, um, no importa si lo entienden um, 100%, no ese es ese el objetivo at the moment. Uh, si no quiero que lo lean, lo escaneen, no lo lean, escaneenlo, like, vayan a través de este texto eh, lo más rápido que puedan, the fastest you can. No sé si lo van a lograr ver en mi pantalla. Eh, si está muy pequeñito, pueden eh, siempre abrir un documento. Eh, Adicional, right? In your um, laptop or wherever you are. So I want you to look at it. And guys, identifiquen palabras nuevas. So lo que único que vamos a hacer es vayan rápido, like full, full, super, super rápido, lo más rápido que puedan. Y si ven, si ven una palabra que nunca la han visto, 
um, escriban la parte, please, or underline it, or circle it. So, identifiquémosla, pero sigan. No se detengan, no la busquen en el diccionario, solo sigan. Just continue, right? Y les voy a dar, like, two minutes, two, three minutes. No es a entender el texto, solamente a, a escanearlo, a revisarlo rapidito, right? Go, guys, two minutes. One more minute, guys. Okay, guys, so let's take a look. Uh, let's check super quick if there is any word that you don't recognize, any word that is kind of new, and then we practice pronunciation. So guys, uh, in the chat, can you do me a big favor, please? And déjenme en el chat las palabras nuevas. Uh, leave them there if you find, or if you have like new vocabulary, new words, so we can check pronunciation and we can check the meaning as well. So, dejémoslas en el chat, please. Put them in the chat. And if there is no new words, then I'll be happy to, to you know, to check that out as well. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, this is the ending of the paragraph in case you want to look it up uh, again. So there you go. Okay, so I see the word knowledge, all right. Okay, so I see guidelines, I see behavior, co-workers. <clears throat> okay. However, okay. Okay, guys, so let's take a look at those words. Uh, let's check their meaning, right? And of course, let's check pronunciation as well. So let me just take a look here. Concise, commerce and concise. Okay. Okay, sounds all right. So let me underline them. However, guideline avoid. Okay, okay, okay. So we have the word however. Um, guidelines. Knowledge. Size. Let me see if I see more. Wait, okay. These countries. 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 Uh, paragraph one or paragraph two? Uh, two. Two. Workplace. Uh, tercera, Vini. Uh, what is the word workplace? Workplace. Yeah. Uh, other countries. That's one? Yes. Okay. Let me see, let me see. I don't see more. Oh, two, okay. Then we have a hat. Okay, guys, no problem. So let's get us started with these ones. Um, revisemos las really quick. Revisemos el significado, all right? Mm, again, no vamos a, a intentar entender o vamos a traducirlo, de hecho no, pero si entendemos la mayoría de esas palabras, ya, le, ya estamos hechos, right? Eh, first, la palabra however, eh, otra forma de decirla es but. Así que no se compliquen mucho, but and however son lo mismo, they are the same. Eh, tenemos guidelines. Um, what do you think a guideline is? ¿Qué sería un guideline, guys? So let's say like tips, right? So guidelines son como tips, mm -hmm. uh, como una guía, like tips, recommendations, a list of expressions that we can use. So, um, for example, si ustedes están aprendiendo a utilizar eh, algún instrumento, tienen una guía. Those are the guidelines, right? Como la guía, the protocol, or what you need to follow. Knowledge. Eh, para entender la palabra knowledge, eh, veamos el, el inicio primero. No, right? So está relacionada con no. What do you think it is? Knowledge. Oh, ¿Alguien sabe qué significa? Do you know the meaning of this word? 
maybe when you know uh, do something como como un como un líder reconocido o reconocido como líder okay algo okay. así no. Mm, no es tanto una persona pero no, se refiere como liderazgo no saber yeah es conocimiento exactly so no oh, okay. es saber so knowledge está familiarizada en dar es eh, conocimiento right so, si quiero decir, tengo conocimiento de, sobre este tema, so I have knowledge, right? So, if you take a look here, it says, uh, it is necessary to have good knowledge. So, es necesario saber, right? Tener conocimientos. So, it is necessary to have a good knowledge. Um, countries, other countries. Countries son países, right? So, obviously, hablamos de El Salvador here, because es nuestro contexto, but cada país tiene their own things. Mm -hmm. eh, con size, what, what, what would this be? Uh, well, the word con size is, yeah? It's a, it's a technical word. I'm sorry, word. can you say that again? It's a technical word. Um, not necessarily. Uh, con size is como preciso, like something precise, con size. Wait. Yeah, conciso, exactly. Deme un segundo que I don't know what happened to. No se queda en negro, sino que en blanco. Sí, y no sé qué le pasó. I don't know. What... ¿Ya lo ven? Do you see that? Yes. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, thank you. Yeah, I don't know what happened here. Okay. So, those are part of the words. Now, guys, eh, repite conmigo, repeat with me, y revisamos el resto. So, we have guidelines. 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 So guidelines, we said, es una guía, right? Como los tips um, o what to do. Next one, however. However. Mm -hmm. Very good. However, no nos vamos a complicar mucho. However is but. Lo mismo, the same. Knowledge. However. Guys, repita conmigo. Knowledge. Knowledge. Very good. Knowledge. So knowledge is conocimiento, right? Knowledge. So I can say tengo conocimiento. I have knowledge. I have a little knowledge. I have a lot of knowledge. Next one. Uh, countries. Countries. The countries. Mm -hmm. So we have other countries. Other. Otros países, other. right? Other countries. Okay. Other is como otro. So other countries. And we have concise. Hi, Manuel, good evening. So concise is like conciso, right? That's good the evening. word we have right here. Great to see you. Okay, uh, now vamos al último pedacito because creo que algunos tenían dudas about some words uh, here y luego, you know, we are gonna work on it. Logré ver la palabra chu. That's one. Uh, déjenme ver si hay otras. Uh, Oh, co-workers, okay. No la veo, I don't see it. I cannot see that one. Okay, but co-workers son los compañeros de trabajo, right? So, eh, las personas con las que trabajamos every single day. And two, si se fijan, dice, don't talk loud. And remember, close your mouth when you chew. ¿Alguna idea que es chew? Imagínense que están comiendo. Imagine you are eating. Y la recomendación dice, don't talk loud. And remember, close your mouth when you chew. ¿Qué mm -hmm. se les ocurre que es chew? No lo busquen, solo para, Como para masticar. Yes, exactly, exactly. Okay. Eso es chew. Mm -hmm. So, again, estas normas o etiqueta. Eh, no son necesarias, son bien generales, right? Reglas que usamos en El Salvador, en our culture, like, um, como si estornuda, eh, cúbrase la boca, right? That's an etiquette. ¿Qué más, guys? ¿Qué más se les ocurre? What do you see here? Que cerremos la boca, close your mouth when you chew. ¿Qué más lograron leer? What do you remember? Voy a subir un poquito. Mm. 
I'm gonna go up. Okay, I need uh, to use show use use for in gram in grammatical. Okay, so Kali. Where is it? Where is it? Ah, you should use formal and grammatically correct language for emails. Mm -hmm. Lo que veíamos mm -hmm. ayer, right? Mm -hmm. No le voy a decir, hey, hello, baby. <laughs> if I'm talking to a, uh, um, my boss or business environment. <laughs> okay, so formal vocabulary, ¿qué más? What else? What do you say? Grammatically. Grammatically. Uh -huh. Grammatically. It. Yes, grammatically. Okay. Or se refería al significado. Do you mean the meaning? No. Oh, okay. Grammatically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. ¿Qué más, guys? Talking about like some guidelines for El Salvador. Eh, ¿Qué es algo que consideran adecuado? What do you think are some, eh, I don't know, cultural things um, que son necesarias in, a, in, a, in our country? Creo que acá mencionaba lo del teléfono. I think you saw uh, right here something about the phone. Oh, here. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Right yes, here. We have to speak on the telephone. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It says, if you get a call when you're eating, say, excuse me, and then receive the call. Don't talk loudly while eating, right? So, como vamos en un lugar público y gritamos on the phone. So, you should not speak loud when you're um, near other people. And también esto es bien importante. If you take a look, listen to what they say carefully and don't interrupt, right? So, es importante que we should listen to people and uh, no interrumpirlos, right? But we should just listen to what people say. So guys, um, let's complete this part y luego vamos a crear nuestras propias guidelines uh, for El Salvador. So uh, take a look at it now. Um, I have some questions here. Ayúdenme con la respuesta. No es necesario que lo hayan comprendido again 100%, solo que tengamos una idea, right? Number one, if you know you are late, you should A, compensate the time, B, call the person to report, or C, don't do anything about it. Guys, ¿qué debemos de hacer? What should we do? A, B, or C? Compensate the time. Eh, si vamos tarde, if we are late. ¿Qué deberíamos hacer si vamos tarde al trabajo? Compensate the time. Deberíamos compensarlo. Call the, person, call the person you report to o no hacer nada, no do anything about it. Lo tenemos acá. Let it be. If you are late because of an emergency, it's okay. However, um, it says here, you should get to the office to show that you are responsible, right? And of course, deberíamos de llamar. We should notify our boss. Number two, take a look at two. What is a tip to apply in office emails? Send the mail in English, use a long salutation, or express the subject clearly. What do you think? Un correo debe estar um, in English. Is it necessary? No. No, right? So letter A, no. Use a long salutation. Usamos no. eh, palabras de introducción largas? No. So, letter C, sí. express the subject clearly, right? Ser lo más claro, eh, especially with the subject. Subject es como el tema que le ponemos, right? Number three, guys, which is not good etiquette when talking on the phone? Which is not good etiquette? Speaking. Speak using clear voice, interrupt the other speaker or use polite language? B. B, interrupt. The other okay. Spike. Exactly. Interrupt the other speaker. Mm -hmm. So it is not a good etiquette. And number four, guys, number four says, if you receive a call 
while you're eating with co-workers, you should, ¿qué, ¿qué deberíamos hacer? What should we do? Ignore the call and continue eating. Answer the call at the table or leave the table and answer the call. What do you think? Leave the table and answer the call. Yeah, right? Sería lo más apropiado. So like, con permiso, excuse me, y me retiro um, para no gritar ahí. Okay. But obviously, tenemos like more etiquette. Tenemos a lot of general things here. So let me share it here. Tenemos, we have, we have, for example, dress code etiquette, right? So we have dress code, lo que deberíamos y no deberíamos utilizar in the workplace. We have a phone call etiquette, right? Y tenemos cultural etiquette. So, tenemos también algunas pautas culturales. Uh, for example, si vamos en transporte público, deberíamos de darle el, el asiento, right? Alguien mayor or somebody who is pregnant. So, tenemos como algunas reglas o le llamamos etiqueta, like activities that we do, um, to improve this lifestyle, let's say. So guys, uh, what are we going to do? Vamos a, a crear al menos dos de cada uno. Son dos cosas que deberíamos hacer. Vamos a utilizar should para expresarlos or shouldn't para expresar parte de los um, de la etiqueta con respecto al dress code, phone calls, and cultural etiquette that we have. For example, in dress code, ¿cuál sería la etiqueta, guys? Me imagino que en sus trabajos tienen algunas cosas que son aceptables. You have like some tips or some things that are acceptable y algunas que we should not do it. ¿Hay algún tipo de, um, de etiqueta con el, cuando hablamos de, de ropa, like dress code? Teacher, otra pregunta. Uh, how do you say in English uh, camisa manga larga or you say casual? Mm, mm, well, si quieres ser bien específica, you can use the word long sleeve shirt. La voy a escribir. Long sleeve shirt. Esa es la palabra específica para camisas manga larga. But in my case, in my work, we, we should to use or to wear uniform. Okay. But when you say uniform, so ya, ya está dado. So it is already given. No, o puede usar cualquier color o or, no, like like for uniform. every day. They, they uh, get us the, the uniform. Ah, much better. Muchísimo mejor because no hay como muchos detalles, muchos problemas con dress code. But, mm -hmm. Ok, ok. But for example, guys, um, obviously dependiendo del empleo de cada uno, Va a ser diferente. This is going to be different. Pero imagínense que hablamos de una entrevista de trabajo. Imagine that we talk about a job interview. Y hablamos de dress code. O de la etiqueta con el dress code. So, um, ¿qué es lo que se debe y no se debe de hacer en entrevistas de trabajo? ¿Qué no debemos llevar? What is something that we should not eh, take? Or wear? Is necessary or que llevemos traje? Should we get a suit? Or chanclas? Do you think it's okay to wear flip-flops? Or sneakers? Como zapato deportivo, right? So, pensemos un poquito en dress code. Phone calls, hay alguna etiqueta con respecto a teléfonos, right? A llamadas telefónicas y uh, pautas culturales que tengamos acá en el país, like anything that we have in the country. Um, guys, les voy a dar un par de minutos. Algunos creo que todavía no han llegado a casa. I'm still on their way, but um, hopefully we can make it here. Si alguien está trabajando, please let us know. Uh, but, um, you know, que no lo vayamos a dejar eh, solo here. So give me one moment. 
And I'm going to send you third. Guys, I'm going to give you some minutes. Vamos al grupo, please. Pongámonos de acuerdo. Get in agreement. Hagamos los tips. Y luego los presentamos, right? So, ¿cuál es la etiqueta in these scenarios? Vamos a los grupos, guys. Let's go to the groups. <clears throat> Let's go to the groups, please. Sure. Thank you, Isaias. Thank you, Mr. Cruz. So Camilo, let's go to the group. Jorge, Carla, let's join the groups. And let's talk about it.
Alrighty, guys. Uh, thanks a lot for coming back. So, gracias por regresar. Let's take a look here what we got. So, um, ¿cuáles son algunos de los ejemplos que tienen with etiquette? So, what is the most common uh, dress code etiquette, right? Um, en cuanto a ropa, like in regards to phone calls and in regards to cultural etiquette, right? Algunas cosas que consideramos appropriate. Uh, let's start with dress code. Hay algo que ustedes consideran es parte de etiqueta that que todos deberíamos saber, something we should know. Uh, talking about your companies, um, Deborah before mencionaba que en su empresa solamente utilizan uniforme, which is amazing, mucho más fácil. But guys, what about in your workplace? Or in general, hay alguna, something that you would like to recommend? Uh, show, children wear uh, shoes and sandal, or sandal. Oh, but we should, right? Deberíamos, or we shouldn't. Shouldn't. Uh, why not? Mm. No, es, es como que no está en el manual y, y debería de ser así, que no usen. Que no usen sandalias, ni uh -huh. zapatos. Ni tenis. Oh, ok. So no... Tenis o sandal sería. Ah, ok. I, I heard shoes, so I was like, wait. <laughs> Porque podemos utilizar la palabra sneakers en ese caso. No, sneakers? me equivoqué. It's, it's fine, no, no problem. So, quizás es como tennis shoes, creo que tiene ambas palabras, probably. Podemos usar la palabra sneakers. Sneakers son para como zapato deportivo, right? El que usamos para diario. So we can use sneakers. We shouldn't wear sneakers or sandals. También podemos agregar, I would like to include flip-flops. Como las chanclas, right? So we shouldn't wear flip-flops or crocs, guys. ¿Alguien en su trabajo ha ido a trabajar en crocs o flip-flops? No. They respect the code. ¿Ustedes nunca han ido a trabajar en flip-flops? Mm -mm. ¿En chanclas? No. Yvette, never. Mm, Sadrai, um, sandalias, o sí. Like casual. Ajá, like casual. Pero no, casual. Sí, pero, sí, ajá, pero no, 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 only capacitation, but is a, como se dice, tall but, hall, verdad? Tall hall is, is, on, como se dice? But capacitation. Como que está solo. Alone? Pero solo para las capacitaciones. Y ya, yeah, eso. Pero tall hall, um, hub, no, hub, no. B, B. ¿Cómo dijo? Vi, vi que está solo. Uh, but, but solo se refiere como que no hay nadie en la empresa, Ajá, right? exacto. Uh -huh. Ah, ok. So, when nobody is in the company. Pero capacitación, uh -huh. you mean, like, no hay nadie. There is nobody. Eh, bien, solo una compañera más. Pero si no hay nadie, ¿cómo va a ser capacitación? Ajá, es que... I porque like... antes iba porque las recibí, los recibí en línea. Ahí. Oh, ok. Se so, puede ir, a mí Valga debe de ir al lugar. Uh -huh. Oh, ¿tú la recibes en casa? Lugar. No, es que no tenía inter, no lo había ah, puesto. Ah, ok. Porque ahora no ahora sí. Uh -huh. Ok, el vecino me lo pagaba. Si fue el Ajá, no me lo pagaba el vecino. <risa> no, no tenía, no tenía. Entonces, Oy, después lo puse. Ah, no, much better. Ya no tiene que salir. Yo no need to leave. Sí, acá la recibo. Ah, that's nice. Y me imagino que en su casa, sin sandalias, nada. Ajá. <risa> Más cómodo. 
In, in our houses, obviously, it's more comfortable, right? Para capacitación, podemos usar la palabra training, sir. Interesante. Training. Very interesting. Uh -huh, sir. Okay. Yes, creo que trabajar, I have not, wear, I have not worn um, flip-flops. Sí, sandals, pero sandales altas, right? Like formal or casual formal. sandals, uh -huh, but not flip-flops. Okay. Very nice. ¿Qué más tiene? What else? Any other etiquette that you would like to include or any other tip? Tienen más tips? <clears throat> Do you have more? Uh, con dress code, no more. Teacher, excuse me. I have a teacher, but it's not for the the etiquette. Mm, okay, what is it? If I know the answer, I can help you. <laughs> if okay, not, it's I can about, it's about the, the test. Because I don't know why, but will you mind passing me the menu, please? I select one answer, but it's incorrect. But the other one for me doesn't make sense, but I don't know sure. Um, wait, wait. Are you talking about the, the platform? Yes. Okay. Ah, okay. Uh, is it the final one? Is it the last one? Let me check. Is the first one? <laughs> okay, let's do something. Let's just finish with this part and, and then I can help you with that. No problem. That's totally Thank fine. Mm -hmm. Okay, guys. So uh, talking about like the dress code, so no sneakers, no flip-flops. Tienen mal, mal, algo más? Anything else with dress code? Do not wear excessive makeup. Don't wear excessive makeup. I agree. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Okay. What about the other one? So what about phone calls? Um, is there any anything with phone calls that uh, you think it's appropriate? Como una parte de la etiqueta, en la, en la lectura veíamos que no es, eh, we shouldn't then fo uh, take phone calls when we are eating, right? So deberíamos levantarnos, we should stand up, ir tomar la llamada, take the phone call outside. ¿Hay algo más que ustedes consideran que es adecuado? Something that um, it's etiqueta or something that we should, we should or should, we shouldn't should be doing? Should put the phone on modo Vibration. Ajá, uh -huh. ok, very nice. We should put it in vibration. O tal vez en mute, right? In silent uh, or silent mode. Ok, yes. Algo más, guys? Anything else? And should answer the phone. And we should? Answer the sure. phone. Oh, we should answer the phone. Yes, we should answer the phone. Well, depende, right? <laughs> Creo que todo depende también. Depende de donde estemos. Uh, imagine you are in a meeting, a how, or in a very important place. Or, yeah, it, it really depends. Okay. Okay, guys. And cultural etiquette. Tenemos algo de etiqueta eh, cultural that eh, you would like to mention? Veíamos, por ejemplo, cultural, yeah. cult, mis culturales como los modales que practicamos. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Like, say thank you, we should say please. Mm -hmm. eh, pusimos show help the people who need help. Oh, okay. So we should help. Eh, should we using um, keywords, terms and place. And place. We should use? Use keywords. 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 Um, uh, for example? Uh, Thems and please. Ah, uh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. I agree 100% with that. Mm -hmm. So we should say thank you, please. Anything else? Teacher. Yep. Uh, disculparse. Ah, we should apologize. Apologize. Uh -huh. Yes, we should apologize. I'm going to write a word that's very important. We should apologize. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
For example, si voy a cruzar en medio de dos, if I am going to go and in the middle or between two people, I should say, uh, excuse me, right? Uh -huh. Mm -hmm. Uh -huh. So we should use excuse me. ¿Qué más? What is something that we should do? Apologies. Uh, Ajá, so uh, apologize. El verbo pedir disculpas es apologize, pero uh -huh. la palabra disculpa es apologies. Entonces se parece mucho. They are very similar. Oh, pero una letra. So tenemos y yeah. Apologies. Yeah. Uh -huh. Ajá, so apologize and apologies. So uh, revisemos esta palabra. Si yo digo, por ejemplo, eh, mis disculpas, ¿cómo puedo decir mis disculpas? Eh. La primera o la segunda? The first word, apologize. Yes. Uh -huh, es yes, yes, no? Es mm -hmm. yes. That would be, uh -huh, yes, my apologies, exactly. Mm -hmm. So le digo, ah, mis disculpas, fue, fue mi error, por ejemplo. Ah, my apologies, it was my mistake. Yes. Pero si yo le digo, yo me disculpo con usted, I'm going to use... Apologize. I apologize to you. Apologize. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I apologize. So I apologize. Yo pido disculpas. Pero si es mis disculpas o tenga mis disculpas. So my apologies. Have my apologies. Mm -hmm. So una ¿Sí? palabra, si yo sé, una letra súper pequeñita es una gran diferencia. Makes a big María. difference. But ambos son pedir disculpas, se relacionan. Ok. Tenemos algo, uh, anything else? Algo más, guys? De los que hayan anotado, no more. So, if we got no more, eh, vamos a revisar la plataforma. Eh, please check, revisen si tienen algún ejercicio giving you some issues. And Deborah, ¿cuál era el que me dijo? Which is the one you tell you, you told me some seconds ago? Okay. Uh, the, the, the question is, Will you mind passing me the mini the menu, please? Uh, okay, give me one second. In what section is that? Are you in number two? In okay. section three, uh, and word eleven. Okay, give me one moment. Three. Let me just check it out. Three. Number 11. Okay. Um, no, this is number 14. Oh, yeah, number 11. Okay. Uh, um, so you have... Would you mind sharing your lunch with me? That one, right? No, it's the second one. The second. And the third one. Would you mind passing me that menu, please? That one? Uh-huh. Okay, ¿cuál es la que está intentando order? For me, it makes sense sure right away, but um, it's incorrect. I don't know. Okay, give me one sec. Let me just check it out. Number two, number two. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, si es posible right away, pero lo que sucede es por la pregunta eh, es como would you mind te importaría right es lo mismo que could la diferencia es que would you mind es como te molesta eh, te importa right si le digo um, if I tell you like hey would you mind closing the door le puedo decir sure right away pero también hay otra respuesta. There is another answer que eh, tiene mucho más sentido. Porque es como, no, no me importa, right? No hay problema, le puedo ayudar. So. No, no, not at all, here you go. Yes, not at all, here you go. Es como, no, no hay problema. Yes, of course. Es lo mismo, pero en otras palabras. Like, very similar things. But in other words. Eh, la otra quizás es como la misma idea. Probably it's the same idea. Let me take a look. Le comparto pantalla. Let me share it screen. Okay. Uh, number, number four, right? 
Three. Yeah. Okay. So it says uh, right here. Could you lend me 20, please? I, I, I slept. Yes, of course. Here you go. But it's incorrect. Um, let me see. Okay. It it's makes sense. So. Mm -hmm. Repeat it. Too, but, uh, SS, but I need it SS, uh, I before so, Friday. But mm -hmm. I need a pack before Friday. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Se tiene que regresar okay. el viernes. Exactly, no es como que si te lleves el no me lo dejes. <laughs> no, I mean, si podemos responder esto, yes, of course, here you go. No hay ningún problema. Eh, the thing here is como buscar otra respuesta, right? So, uh -huh. I suppose so. Es como, pues yo creo que sí puedo. I think I could, I suppose so. But I need it back before Friday. Pero me lo devuelve antes del viernes, right? So, but I need it back. Mm -hmm. So I need it back es como, yo lo necesito que usted me lo dé, right? I need it back. Mm -hmm. There we go. Okay. Okay, you're welcome. Thank you, guys. Very nice. Guys, hay alguno que le esté dando problemas. Is there any of these that is giving you some issues, some problems? ¿Ya lo lograron terminar? Did you finish it? Recuerda que la Ivet ya somos completas, right? We are good. Yes. Yo okay. me quedé en la 17. Oh, okay, okay, okay. No, pero ya casi. You're almost done. Eh, ¿Le ha dado algún problema so far? Are you having any difficulty? Mm, es difícil. Bueno, no entiendo. Ahora oh, 17. Pero hay forma y no entiendo. Ok, bueno, si gusta, let's go back. La 17 en un segundo. Estamos en la sección número 4, section 4. Eh, Manuel, yes. Hola. Uh, perdón, Deborah, que se le está cortando. It's getting uh, broken. Uh, uh, ¿Hasta cuál tenemos que llegar? Para el día de mañana, for tomorrow. Eh, no, perdón, para ahora, like for today. Tenemos hasta la eh, sección número tres completa, hasta el, eh, yeah, until number 15, I believe. It is number 15. Pero claro, si usted puede terminarla antes, mucho mejor y ya se queda tranquila. That is the point, right? Que no estamos, ay, no le he entregado, se me ha olvidado, no he tenido tiempo. Bueno, podemos hacer, si puede hacerlo antes, mucho mejor, Miss. Even better. Eh, Lupita, revisamos este ejercicio. ¿Qué le está dando problemas? ¿O cuál de estos is giving you some problems? Es que dice que vas a usar el be, el going to y el verbo, ¿no? Uh -huh. No lo hemos momento. visto todavía, pero esto se refiere a pasado. Entonces, uh -huh. la estructura, perdón, futuros. O oh, uh, this is future. Oh, this is uh -huh. not past. Uh -huh. So, normalmente cuando hablamos de futuro es el verbo to be, pero siempre conjugado, right? Am, is, are, luego voy a utilizar going to, lo vamos a ver eh, ya en la próxima unidad, y luego voy a utilizar el verbo, pero este verbo sin ningún cambio. Entonces, si usted se fija en este verbo, este verbo lleva aquí, pero como el, este otro verbo no puede llevar cambios, yo le voy a quitar el to. So, for example, si yo digo, él va a llamar a su amigo. So, I have he. He is, is going to, to. Y le voy a quitar el to porque no lo necesito. Going to, phone. Uh -huh, uh -huh. His friend. Uh -huh. Y siempre le pongo el puntito y tendría okay. que funcionarle. Si gusta, intente ahorita. Claro. Try right now y me confirma. Okay. Si es algo más, eh, podemos revisarlo. We can check it out. Ahí, teacher, a mí me dio el problema con el punto. Es el, no se lo había puesto. Otra se sí. lo ponía, se lo ponía y me salía mal. Oh. Hasta que se lo quitó. Porque yo sé que en toda oración siempre es ley que tiene que ir el punto, ¿verdad? Eso okay. lo enseñaron en los otros módulos. Okay. Pero a mí no me lo agarraba con el punto. De, hasta que se lo, lo quité. Uh -huh. eh, 
pasarla, porque toditas me salían malas. Y era por el ahorita, punto, va a creer. Ahorita. Oh, Ajá. tiene razón. Sí, entonces no sé por qué. Pasé una semana dándome duro con esa tarea y mm. era por el punto. Porque hay veces no deja pasar por, lo, por los espacios. Oh, lo que sucede, I see what is the problem. No, lo que sucede, guys, es que en este ejercicio, gracias, Ibel, que lo, lo menciona, el uh -huh. detalle es que en este ejercicio, eh, la respuesta solamente uh -huh. no va a ser la oración completa. Thank no, no es completa. No uh -huh. es la oración completa, sino que solamente es la parte que hace falta, the part that is missing. So, um, ah, voy... no, solo pone si es is o are. Eh, como uh -huh. todo el pedacito, like the whole thingy, ya le muestro, permítame. Yes. So let me show you here. Eh, que, 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 you know, super important that you mentioned, porque si no les iba a dar el, el mismo, right? The same sí. issue. No, les iba a no los iba a dejar pasar. Uh -huh. Así me okay. pasó a mí. <laughs> Pero gracias por compartirlo. Thank you for sharing. Ah, porque, that. O sea, nosotros right. que por ley, el punto tenía que ir siempre porque es parte de. Yes. Pero aquí no. Lo que sucede es que este ejercicio dice complete the sentences using the form of verb, pero uh -huh. ya está inicialmente he, ya está his friend, entonces acá como respuesta no vamos a escribir la oración completa, we're not going to write sorry, it, ajá, sino va a escribir ajá, lo que ajá, hace falta. Sobre el pedacito. Uh -huh. Entonces Exacto. si yo tengo he is going to form his friend, Voy a poner uh -huh. solo lo que no está en la oración. That means uh -huh. his friend no lo necesito. I don't need it. And he tampoco lo necesito. Solo va a dejar así, la like, peloncito, right? Uh -huh. He's uh -huh. going to phone. Uh -huh. Y eso exactly. es todo. So give it a try and let us know. Sí, ya yes, tú. Eso es verdad. Ok, gracias. Uh -huh. Thank solo you, Ivette. Bueno, igual en la 18, este, tuve también problemas estas dos porque... Como ahí dice, ahora de que se usen los verbos para hacer oraciones imperativas. Uh -huh. Según yo, iba a completarla con toda la oración. Entonces así lo hacía, va, clean your shoes. Uh -huh. Y me salía mal. Al solo final, era el verbo. Solo era el clean. Ajá, solo uh -huh. poner el, el, que, el que nosotros creem, creemos que va con la oración. No ah, poner toda la oración. Ah, yo también Ajá. eso estaba haciendo y no me funcionaba. Sí, salían Super. malas también. Entonces okay. solo te poner el verbo que uno cree que es. Solo poner clean en la primera y hasta ahí. Amén. Te digo porque le va a pasar de que le va a salir malo todo. <risa> Gracias por, por el dato súper importante, el, el feedback. Uh -huh. Lo voy a compartir uh -huh. igual con los compañeros que le dan seguimiento para que quizás hagan más clara la, la, la descripción. Sí, porque right? según lo que dice ahí, fácil. tenía que hacer la oración, ¿verdad? Completar. Uh -huh. Y no solamente de poner el, el, el que, el, que cree usted que es. Ajá. Uh -huh. No okay, toda la oración. Okay. Super, gracias por ese detalle. Eh, I'm going to share it para que podamos hacer el cambio. Tal vez la, la, la instrucción no está como muy clara en, y nos hace trabajar, pero lo importante es que we got it. <ríe> que le probó muchas fuerzas en prueba y error. <ríe> exactly, también así aprendemos, right? So, en prueba y error, we learn as well. But I'm glad, gracias. Exacto. Thank you so much. And uh, I really appreciate your, your feedback. Ok, guys, so. Um, Igual si lo podemos compartir en el grupo, ya lo voy a escribir tú. Porque me imagino que eh, va a suceder, right? It's going to happen, que la mayoría va a tener dificultades with doubts. Thanks a lot. Eh, guys, antes de dejarlos ir, solamente les tomo eh, asistencia. So let me just take attendance eh, right here. Give me one second. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. My computer got broken. Okay, so I got, oh my goodness. Guys, oficialmente nos quedan solo seis clases. Please don't miss it. Ya casi terminamos el módulo. Um, so I hope to see you around here. Eh, Camilo solo me regala confirmación si anda todavía por acá. I have David, creo que. Present, Miss. Gracias. Thank you so much, Camilo. Eh, Debra. Good night. Thank you so much, Miss. I got Lupita. Here, Miss. Thank you. I have uh, Griselda. 
Present, Miss. Gracias, Miss. Is a yes. I have a bit. Present, teacher. Thank you. I have Javier. Um, Jorge was here. Eduardo, I gracias. Gracias. Thank you so much. Ya terminó de trabajar. Did you finish? Yeah, I finished uh, hey, a nice. manual of, of regulation. Oh, okay. Sounds super tiring, but I'm glad. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you're done. Thank you. Mentalmente. Este, me imagino. Like burn, pero ya puede ir a descansar tranquilamente. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so that's nice. Uh, I have Manuel. You're welcome. Here. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, sir. Thanks a lot. Uh, thanks for your attendance, guys. Uh, please terminemos los ejercicios que nos hacen falta and uh, para que no nos vayamos quedando atrás, right? Uh, thanks, guys. Have an amazing rest of your night. Y nos vemos mañana. So I'll be seeing teacher, you tomorrow, I'm guys. Bye. Bye-bye. Night. Uh, Carla, I'm sorry. Happy Couldn't night. hear you. Sí, teacher. Present, teacher. Gracias, Miss. Ya la noté, Miss. Ay, gracias. 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 No, gracias a usted por estar acá. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.